It's getting late at Garage Aquatics 2023 World Headquarters. It's Friday evening. What does that say about 13 after 5 p.m. Pacific time? And I just finished water changes everywhere. Except for this thing. I don't really know what to do with it. I've got brine shrimp in there. And, and it's been running for a long time. All I do is top it off. But anyway, I started over here. I just uh, added water to this one. There's a few little shrimp in there. Uh, and then this tank with the uh, Crebensis Fry, the one and only. And, I know, I take that back, the Crebensis Fry. And the one and only uh, Albino Quarry Fry right there. And a bunch of shrimp. I don't know how many there in here. There's probably 50, 60, something like that. And they're all having a grand time. They get uh, live baby brine shrimp a couple times a day. And then this 40 breeder. Got about half the guppy grass gone. I've been selling it on my eBay page. And then the two tubs, clean them up a little. Got a lot of green, that green hair algae in this, and I hate that stuff. Working on it. Uh, and I lost a plant in there, and I don't know where it went. It was a tissue culture of a cryptochorine pink flamingo. And then in this one, and there's the other pink flamingo, right? Uh, I don't know if we can see it from here. It's right there get down in there there it was another tissue culture and another tub and this gorgeous beta put them in here just having a hard time breaching in the deep tank then i got this one i don't know what i'm doing with this one this one's just got the um, amazon swords that i did a, a video on uh, potting how to how to divide propagate pot your amazon swords i'll put that somewhere maybe up top uh, maybe in the uh, in the description or at the end. We'll see and More guppy grass because I sell the hell out of it and then this tank no light at all Let's see the lights are going off at six o'clock. So we've got about 45 minutes here uh, the orange neon sword tails uh, The big females and the one big male liar tail have produced all these male sword tails and there's a bunch of new fries, so we'll see what they turn into. I hope they're not all males again. And there's a couple big plecosauruses in here and uh, some uh, sailfin quarries and autocyclus. And back to this tank. Got the false Julie quarries. I really like those. And some autocyclus and a couple big plecosauruses. And Bob and Carol. There's Carol. Bob's around here somewhere. So, you know, they're all, I'm not sure if they're thrilled or not. There's a few em ember tetras still here and then uh red cherries and red cherries also there's red cherries everywhere on this side and then let's come over here these are the kids so they're coming up on a year old both the bettas and the little bronze quarries down at the bottom and there should also be a couple of mono shrimp in this tank and the plants are really starting to look good there's no substrate in this tank to speak of I, it was just gravel and like volcanic gravel and, uh, and and old sand and stuff. And I topped it off with new sand and started putting plants in it. And I had black al or the blackbeard algae and had that green slime. Uh, and I used that stuff that seemed to take care of it. Uh, it's looking pretty good now. Uh, the plants are doing well. I started I fertilize regularly, so that helps these uh, these heavy bottom feeders, these crypts, and that Amazon sword there from the other tank from that project. And there's another Amazon sword in the back from that tank, from that other project. And one of these lilies, there was another lily here. It died back. I hope the bulb's still in there. Maybe it's just gone. A little bit of Sagittarius subulata and some Cryptocorin wenii. Uh, the, the red, I think is what, what it is. And another Amazon uh, sword or a different sword. I think it's maybe red melon. I'd have to check. And then there's another one of those here. And then a little tank that I started with two guppies, and you know how that goes. I, I picked this male because I thought he looked kind of cool. So I don't know. We'll see what they all do. I'll probably just throw them all in the mutt guppy tank, and I'm selling mutt guppies on the eBay page. And then these guys, uh, the Crebensis, they come from Bob and Carol, the albinos. About half the spawn look like this. The other half looks like those guys on the other side. We'll get over there. And then I just did, oh, well, never mind. We'll get to that. Uh, and then the Mickey Mouse Platties. So everybody got a water change today. The one surviving little koi angel. I have five and, and they just start dropping off. And 
I used this stuff too little too late. It's API uh, Pima Fix. It seems to work. I'm not sure if they had a, they're developing Popeye. If it turns out it's something I just learned about called fish tuberculosis, there's no cure for that. So I, I don't know, he seems to be doing all right. I got a refund today from PetSmart on the other four. And then this tank with the Blue Dreams, the Blue Dream shrimp, and there's a bunch of uh, pandacories in here. And I just fed them, they love the worms. And there's a bunch of uh, tuxedo guppies and a couple plecosauruses. And I wanna get them out of here and put them in the big tank. And then this tank, there's these, uh, I don't know if they're 24 karat gold guppies. And a bunch of orange sunkissed shrimp and a couple autosynclus. And the water's kind of cloudy because it's stirring up from all the uh, the water changing. I do about half, about 50%. And somebody gasped when I said that with the shrimp. I've been doing about 50% the whole time. But this one's got a lot of a lot of mom in it with the blue dreams. So I put, I got a uh, an aqua clear 70 hang on back on both ends. There's one on the other end. Just trying to clear it up. And then this tank, this is the one with the yellow... Uh, Golden backs, I guess is what they're called. I just got these, I don't know, a week or so ago. And there's one right there on the glass. And I got most all the red ones out here a day or so ago. And I made a video about the shrimp tanks just a couple days ago. And I'm not going to pause you. Let's just walk around the garage. You see the mess. And here we go. Up the other side. And this is the guppy tank. Um, there they are. And they're they're fierce and thick, and I just fed, um, and also the water changed. And there's, I think, four or five peppered quarries in here. There's one underneath the rocks right there. I really like those. Those are a very cool quarry. All quarries are very cool quarries. But what are you going to do? And then here's the back side of the yellow, uh, yellow shrimp tank. And, and there's a red one still. Uh, let's see if where is it right there so I'm still fishing red ones out I got shrimp and red ones out and I'll eventually get them all before they get too big I don't want them to contaminate and then this is the back side of the orange sun kissed that big crypt bunch of guppy grass um, I've been fighting snails in this tank too there's a um, bladder snail right there let's see on that leaf right there and uh, I, these are just great. I love these. The color is spectacular. They are really something. And then the back side of Blue Dreamland. It's kind of cool. And this is the back side of the uh, wild type mollies. And I haven't seen them in a while. I don't know what's going on with them. I know the guppy grass is thick in here. This is one of the next tanks I'll clear out when I get some more orders. And then up here, the scaredy cats of all scaredy cats. These are the albino crebensis from Bob and Carol. So like I said, these are the brothers and sisters of the guys on the other side there. And they are the biggest bunch of chickens, but they're cool fish. They can't help it. And then this is that farm tank that I had all the problems with, lost a bunch of plants. It looks like all the crypts the crimp wenii are, or almost all the crimp wenii are recovering. The crimp parva in the little pots, I don't think there's going to come any, anything to come back in that. And then I'm just throwing all these java ferns in here, a couple other plants. Um, and I did a little water change on that too. And then the big tank. So this one's running right now. The water's running out of this, out of the garden hose. Okay, out of this uh, fill rig. Um, and you see the bubbles coming out of it and it's draining simultaneously that's my cat wants to get back in the house out of this permanent drain line here that goes up and over and then back down and that's the cat again and uh, there's the ball valve and that that controls I can throttle how much water goes out the garden hose out into the front lawn and um, I can open it full blast or, or shut it. So when I'm done, I just close that, 
uh, the hose will drain out and I'll take it off and curl it up, coil it up, whatever you want to do with it. But in the meantime, I'm doing, I'm letting this run. It's been running for, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes now, maybe a little longer. And I've got, and there's these, these guys. Um, I think the, the whiter one is female. The big orange one's a male. Got to come, now I don't want to name them. I might, we'll see. Uh, suggestions, that'd be great. I call them the knuckleheads all the time. And I get a lot of great feedback on that, but what are you gonna do? A uh, lot of, lot of uh, cryptocorine in here. There's some pink flamingo in here. There's this uh, hydrocodyl, it's uh, Brazilian pennywort. Uh, there's a couple other Amaz or Amazon sword types, one there, another one under the rock. There's this uh, Aponogeton, it's a bulb with the really cool wrinkly leaves. Um, and there's a cat and she's just spoiled rotten because she wants it when she wants it. And it's, and I just stuck a couple jungle valves in here. There's a little piece that broke off from the other tank. It's full of jungle valve. And, and then this one uh, pulled up when I was pulling dead leaves. And uh, I just stuck them in here. I figure they'll come up over the top. And you know, it's an angelfish tank and it's gonna be South Americans. And, and the reason I am letting this run, I'm kind of hoping that uh, there's, there were, oh God, I don't know, 13 uh, clown plecos. I haven't seen them in months. And uh, there were also a couple of uh, uh, hillstream loaches that just didn't work out in the other tank. So I put the last two in this tank. And, and I'm not sure if, uh, if they're still alive or not, who knows. I know I found a skull uh, the snails were cleaning it up down to nothing, and it could have been a hillstream loach. Uh, there were some blue dream shrimp in this tank too, and I think uh, uh, there was a big one. I used to see it. Let's see, up in up in there, and uh, I haven't seen that one around in a while. And there's a way they can get behind these rocks and in these rocks, and that could have happened. You know, they could still be some blue dream shrimp in here. And there's more and more cover, but you know, I'm thinking if there's any little ones are, are any show up, these they're a target for these two. These two are lightning fast. So when I feed them, you know, they come out of nowhere really quick. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the Garage Aquatics 2023 World Headquarters Water Change Day. Just thought I'd show you around, let you see all the tanks again. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I, last week uh, I didn't get to do a water change. I just topped them off and then we went to El Paso uh, on last Friday and got back uh, this past Tuesday. So it needed, I think, a, a water change. Um, so I thought I'd do that today and then I just thought I'd share it with y'all. And, you know, like I always say, I really appreciate y'all uh, for your, you know, uh, your watching these videos and commenting. I love the comments. I reply to all of them and it uh, means a lot. Um, I learn stuff from the people that comment and uh, hopefully you learn stuff from what I put up. And as always, thanks for looking.